Hello, and I guess welcome back to my channel? Is it a welcome back if I ever really started? So I haven't posted on this account in over a good year at this point and for no apparent reason just life just fucking happens my original goal was when quarantine first started was to actually record more videos and make more content on a more video centered focus because that's what i like to do but that didn't happen because i'm mentally ill and i got depressed now i'm fine though so here i am and i'm gonna actually make more shit anyway welcome into this space that i like to call me doing random shit where i just do or talk about random shit uh, in this specific episode i'm wearing a white shirt for a reason and that reason is that today was laundry day as you can see with my empty basket well the the the, the the skeleton of it, I guess. This was the only shirt available that I had to wear, my white shirt. So I thought, you know what, this week coming up, I'm going to actually try to get dressed. Ever since COVID, right, I have not been dressing up. Most of my wardrobe has been either sweatpants, end of list. So I want to actually do the best I can to look good for myself. I, if I leave the house, I usually don't see many people, but that's not the point. The point isn't to impress others, it's to impress myself. When I wake up in the morning and I'm like, hmm, I want to look good today. Now, you may have noticed something else, and that thing is that I am a fat person. <laughs> Generally speaking, it's harder for us to find clothes that fit us. It's harder for us to find fashion that looks good um, to the general public's eye. I have had a lot of years of looking for specific clothing, specific things that I can wear, tailoring so much. The amount of cash I've spent on tailoring, like almost every single piece of clothing I have here is tailored. So I really want to take this week to explore how I can explore my sense of fashion in a place where I can just allow myself to shine through. Does that make sense? I feel like I'm not making any actual sense. I'm just talking out of my ass, which honestly is going to be most of whatever this channel is going to be. The other thing to keep in mind is that quarantine has now been over a year long and I have 100% gained my share of quarantine weight, which I'm not unhappy about. I don't mind some, some weight gain, but I do mind not fitting into my clothing. Fortunately, I've been able to build a small home gym downstairs in the basement, so I've been able to keep up with my health as I've been gaining unwanted weight. What we are here for, however, is seeing how my clothes, a lot of which I've had for a while now, fit me now in my current body and how I feel about them. And just how I can have a week where I can look in the mirror and be like, you know what? You tried today for the first time in over a year you try to look somewhat good and you're not wearing sweatpants in fact i think i'm going to make that a rule for the week unless it goes with the entire outfit i will not wear sweatpants i think that's good joggers are okay like joggers that look good i'm fine with but sweatpants i'm not gonna do anymore not for the whole week a lot of the footage i'm gonna assume is gonna be for my cell phone because i can't bring my webcam around with me all the time and also i go to work so it's gonna be kind of hard to actually do everything all at once but i, I want to make this work at the very least as a first video just so i can say that i've done this and so i can say that i've tried with making a video finally after four years of trying or with just trying to look good for the first time <laughs> another thing i've done that may or may not suit me i don't really care honestly at this point is i've essentially shaven the size of my hair in the back to be kind of like a mohawk i like it <laughs> i'm i'm 27 i do what i want a few things that i will not do and definitely clear this off right off the bat is i will not shave my face and i will not trim my beard i just trimmed my beard so if you think it's too long or too messy you can imagine how it was before i trimmed it it was wild it's still kind of wild, but I kind of, it, it's like an arranged wild that I definitely kind of enjoy in my face. I like it. I'm not going to shave it. Also, really quickly, so it's out there. I don't, like, wash and condition my beard. Every, that's a lie. I don't wash my beard every day. I condition every day, and I apply oil. I'll apply wax to hold it together, maybe, like, twice a week or so, depending on how often I go out. So, without further ado, I guess let's get this started. Again, today, I'm just wearing a white shirt. And, uh, like, what is this again? What the fuck am I wearing? I'm wearing a white shirt and I guess shorts. Yeah, I'm wearing a white shirt and shorts. That's all I'm wearing. I am not going to wear this again for the week because I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. So I know I said I would start on Monday, but I need y'all to know that I didn't do that. Monday was a crazy day and I had to leave my house really, really quickly to get to the office so I couldn't actually dress nicely. I literally wore sweatpants and a hoodie. 
So I decided, all right, it's not going to start Monday, it's going to start on Tuesday. So this whole week starts from Tuesday, and it's going to end next Tuesday. Just a heads up. It's morning. They're doing work in the basement. I'm going to get ready. I'm going to get dressed. I'm going to try and look nice today. Every time I wake up, I end up telling myself, God, I'm so tired. I'm like, why am I tired? I just woke up. And it's not because, like, I didn't get a good night's sleep. I think capitalism is just wearing down on me. Like, you know that moment when you, like, dread waking up because you can't fathom continuing to exist in this society? That's kind of how I'm feeling right now. So for day number one, this is the outfit. Essentially, I'm wearing a red shirt, black jean jacket, a black joggers, brown boots, and my necklace. Of course, uh, this is my usual like casual outfit if I'm going out with friends or just going out in public. Uh, nothing too special, but I haven't worn this in a well, good year at this point. This is from ASOS. <laughs> this is also from ASOS. The pants are old navy though. I shop for a lot of my regular t-shirts on ASOS online plus size store. They go up to like 6XL. And this jean jacket is also from ASOS. The boots are from DXL, totally worth it. And then the joggers are actually a 2XL size from Old Navy. The thing about springtime in New Jersey is that you never really know what you're gonna get. Uh, sometimes the weather is like 70 degrees. Other times it's like 45 degrees and it's like you don't really know what to wear usually. I think having like springtime clothing is important, but I don't really have that, which is why I just chose the red tee, the black joggers, the nice boots, and the, my black jean jacket. Because if it gets too hot, I can take it off. If it gets too cold, I can keep it on. And it's not really, you know, that big of a change or an impact. As someone who does sweat profusely though, I'm interested to know how my outfit's gonna look at the end of the day, if it's all sweaty or if it's actually like survived. I use like high quality deodorant to, or like antiperspirant rather, uh, just because I, I sweat too much. I think it's like a medical thing, I'm not sure what it's called. I also have to say, I've essentially been wearing slip-on sneakers for the past fucking year. So getting down and tying my, my boots and having it feel like I'm wearing real shoes is a totally new experience now. <laughs> Last thing before I get to work, if it's not obvious, I did not work on my beard at all this morning. I just kind of like woke up, washed it, dried it, and that was it. Um, I'm gonna be wearing a mask all day long anyway, so it's gonna be messy at the end of the day. All right, so quick update, it's almost end of birthday and I'm actually not sweating like at all. It, it's like surprisingly not too warm, not too cold here. There, I, I have no armpit sweat at all. No under boob sweat either, which is fantastic. And there is also zero, literal zero back sweat. Do you know how much my back sweats? I'm not sweaty at all. It's a good day. So I'm just out of work. Look at my mask beard. So it actually got really hot, too hot for, uh, for me to wear the jean jacket. So I took that off. Um, and I'm gonna just keep it in my car in case it gets colder later at night. For the moment, I'm gonna be uh, picking up my boyfriend. My boyfriend. You look so good today. No cameras. One camera, the just my phone. Is after me. No, just my phone. <laughs> my jacket. Why is it so, it's so warm? You're warm. It's so warm in here. You're warm. <laughs> I think we go on a adventure today, but it's adventure time. Stay away. Oh, stay away. Adventure time. Come on, grab your friends, Ben the human, and Dave the dog. I'm not a dog. Mask on, being safe. Now I'm definitely sweaty. My shirt's definitely yeah, sweaty. Take, yeah, there's, there's no one around. So not intentional, but we just kind of walked around the city and just enjoyed the time together. That's my fun. beard. I do appreciate that I'm not in sweatpants right now, so like I'm not hurting my legs. I'm actually like dressed. Long leggy boy. You have very long legs, and I'm, I have very short legs. That's why I'm exactly my, one foot shorter than you. My regular walking speed is like your running speed. Yeah, so don't walk so fast. I'm walking slowly on purpose right now. Well, yeah, good. <laughs> Did you asshole come back? No. How much do you think like an apartment over there costs? What? Oh, way too much. They're on Main Street. God. They're on the Main Street, probably upwards of like a few thousand. I don't know, let's look them up on, um... Let's look up on Monzillo.com. Find any apartment. Big, small, or in right, just the right size. Zillow.com. Use the code, uh, chili dogs to get 7% 
on your order. Yeah, we just walked around and hung out, saw some stores, and took some pictures. The last one of which is my favorite one that I posted on here too. Later that night, we went out to a restaurant with a bunch of other vaccinated friends, and it was really, really fun. I wore my outfit the entire time, even though I was really sweaty. But you know what? I felt really confident, and it was nice having that feeling back for a little bit. Welcome to Wednesday. I woke up super late and they're still doing work on the house. I gotta get the fuck out of here. So I'm having a hard time choosing what to wear. 70 degrees outside, like I said, springtime in New Jersey, you never know. I don't really have a lot of clothing that is like springtime and most of my summer clothing isn't really professional. And I'm gonna be going into another office that is not my own. So like I wanna look a little more professional than I usually do. Even though I tend to always look professional, you know, if I'm at work. So I'm gonna try and wear uh, just kind of like a button up shirt, maybe some pants or, you know, just something simple but enough that like I don't look like a disaster, but not too much where I feel like I'm overheating. Also, I have 20 minutes to shower, fix my hair, fix my beard, and change. Let's go. I'll stick to the basics. This is fine. <laughs> this, is, this is okay for work. My pants are so creased. Oh my God. So today I learned the importance of ironing my fucking clothing. I gotta do that. This shirt is just an online Amazon basics shirt that I found on sale. The pants are Old Navy. I like Old Navy pants because they go up in a good amount of sizes and I can always tailor the bottom to make them fit my short legs. The shoes are DC 11.5 wide. These were hard to find because I have wide feet. I had these shoes as a teenager and I bought them for an emo revival Halloween costume I was planning that never happened because of COVID. Today is my first time wearing them since I got them last October. It's April. I know it's almost no difference but like this is kind of what it looks like now without the undershirt. I feel more comfortable. I like that it hugs me a little bit more. Yeah it's springtime. It's hot. It's, it's like hot. Eventually I got to work. I promise. Hi. I kind of feel like this outfit's a bit mediocre. Because it's just like a collared shirt and pants. This is my first time in a larger city environment since before COVID. And honestly, it feels fucking amazing. I took some time to just walk around the streets, get some lunch, and honestly just enjoy me being dressed well in public. <laughs> it's been a long time since that's happened. The shirt that I'm wearing now is from Amazon. Like, it's literally like an Amazon basic shirt. And it costs like $12 or something. And it's not really the the coolest shirt or like the most neat shirt the collar's flat it shouldn't be flat it should be raised up right but it is what it is i, I just have to to get a collared shirt hello guys well that's a disaster okay great oh, god my car's gonna be a mess after this on my way home i went to a park and then i just went back home to just chill I was able to take one picture. <laughs> Essentially, it's me squatting. Um, that's as much as I'll do today. I'm exhausted. I had a really, really long drive to the other office, and honestly, I'm, I'm so tired. Um, I'm glad I dressed like I dressed today because it, it, it wasn't complicated. It was super simple. There wasn't much thought into it. I just dressed like a person for a bit and I actually felt a little more authoritative. Maybe that's not the right word. I felt a little more... I guess professional is the right word. I looked the part, so I felt like I acted the part a little more, which is cool. Tomorrow is gonna be rainy. This whole week is fucking rainy. So I have to plan the outfit for it to be rainy. Ooh, is that a fly? What happened? Hi, so it turns out there was a fly in my room and it was huge. It's right next to my phone. It's right next to my phone. I gotta open that window. I'm definitely afraid of bugs, so it, it, I stopped recording completely until I got the fly out of my room. However, essentially that's all that happened today. That's all I did. After the fly incident, I had some food and I lay down in bed and I just relaxed the whole day. It was a good day. I took one good picture and even good pictures pushing it. I did notice that I wasn't really that satisfied with my outfit today and I think it's just because I didn't really go as hard as I thought I would, which is okay. You know, I just wanted an outfit to go to work and come back. Tomorrow, I want to try and like do something, like make it more of a thing, like try a little harder. So that's my goal for tomorrow is look better than what I did today. I'm not saying I didn't look good today. I do think I look good today. I just think I could look better and why not push myself to look better so I can feel better, you know? Thursday. Today will be really, really, really cloudy. I'm looking out my window right now. There's like just white sky. But it is gonna be kind of rainy, so I gotta take that into consideration. You know, um, I have to dress comfortably, but also feel good in how I'm dressing. I do have a raincoat that I'm probably gonna wear. I've been waiting to, to wear it. And I don't think I'll be late for work, so. I will be good. I just gotta get ready. I only wanted a single pop of color on this outfit, so the red Nike shoes are pulling their weight. My undershirt from ASOS, my mesh shirt from Target, and my jeans from Old Navy that have been tailored are 
all black and white. Side view. I decided to go monochrome today just because it's, you know, rainy. I don't want to put too much color on top of this. I'm going to put on my raincoat and see how that looks and then I'm going to go. So the lighting here is horrible. I've already gotten quite a few comments on the outfit, specifically the raincoat that I, you know, was wearing when I, when I came in. Um, but the outfit itself too, I'm, I'm breathing heavily because I just walked up four flights of stairs. I want to see if this outfit's going to pass the sweat test though, because I'm already sweating from moving around. And I know that these kind of jackets, the vinyl jackets, tend to really lend themselves to um, excessive sweating. <laughs> After work, I have plans to go back to town to meet up with a friend of mine. Look at the parking lot I'm at, like a top floor. It's just completely empty. Um, there's no reason why I'm showing you this. I just, <laughs> it's just cool and, uh, and I have my gimbal with me so it's nice to actually have the camera be fairly stable. Like I'm rocking it right now, you can kind of see it but not completely, it's nice to, to have that available. Anyway. So unfortunately my friend couldn't join me today but I still had a good time taking pictures in the parking lot and I walked around town and just enjoyed the day going into the evening, which was really good for me actually. And I got no footage of it. Absolutely none. My phone died, and I lost all of it. Oh well. I know it's only been three days, but I already have some thoughts. I've noticed that I have been holding myself up a little taller, a little higher. Um, I feel much more comfortable, and other people are noticing too. Today in the office, the people that did see me all complimented my outfit. They said they liked the raincoat, they liked the shoes, and how it went with the rest of the outfit, the rest of the monochrome outfit. It was those pops of colors that kind of made the whole thing come together and i think that's the thing i realize i look forward to making the outfit every morning i realize i enjoy thinking about oh what colors go together what will look good on me does this look good on me how about this how about that and the other thing i'm realizing is it's also a good way for me to really see what i'm missing in my wardrobe what i want to have and what more risks i can take i think today's outfit wasn't really that risky but i did specifically choose colors knowing that they would complement each other and or uh knowing that the colors that i did choose would make the rest of the outfit pop aka the red shoes i'm proud of that ever since covid began and i've just been wearing sweatpants and my hoodies the entire time I haven't felt attractive. I haven't felt sexy. I haven't felt like I looked good at all. This is a good start to knowing that that power is at my hands at all times, just because I have clothing and I'm able to do so. I took the picture today. Mind you, it was very cloudy, so I had to really edit all the colors out. It was, it was, oh my God, the lighting was horrible. And honestly, even though I didn't like the picture, I was like, yeah, it's still, it still looks pretty good. It still shows off the outfit. I don't know. It it, it makes me feel good, and, and I, I really appreciate that. These next coming days, I feel, are going to be the hard part. Tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I have nowhere to go. I'm not going to work. I don't know if I'm leaving my house. So it'll be interesting to see if I actually pull off the outfits that I want to pull off, if I don't actually have to wear them, if I don't have to leave my house. <sighs> I, don't, I don't know what I'll be wearing. The weekends will be hard, but let's see what happens tomorrow morning. It's Friday. Still very cloudy outside. <laughs> very, very cloudy. I genuinely didn't expect it to be this cloudy today. I thought it was going to clear up. I think tomorrow it clears up. This weekend should be fairly, fairly clear. I know yesterday the outfit I chose was intentional with the colors, but not, like, it didn't really go like really far out of my comfort zone. Today, I believe I'm staying home for the most part. I think I'm hanging out with my boyfriend and his friend later on today. So I wanna try and make sure that I can put on something that will be comfortable. I will figure out a way to make that happen. I'll figure it out. I am really hoping that y'all can see the difference in my beard after I wash it, condition it, oil it, and wax it because <laughs> I've done it all today. Honestly, even like my weaker side still feels a bit more full because of, you know, me taking care of it. And if I turn my head, it has a shape. Look, the like mask thing isn't there yet. I'm hoping it stays that way. Today is a cold spring day, which means I get to wear layers and clothing and actually warm up. I have a few more options for that. I am probably gonna stick with the traditional 
stuff, so I'm probably gonna wear like plaid and the same jeans as yesterday, but I'm gonna play with the colors and see what else I can do with it. I've noticed over the past few days that I tend to gravitate towards darker colors. I just like darker colors on me. I do wanna start wearing lighter colors as the weather improves. Tomorrow and the next few days should be very sunny. If you're asking why I keep moving my mirror around, it's because my room is not well lit at all. I decided to go with the yellow and blues today. The plaid shirt is from ASOS and it's a 6XL, which shows you how inconsistent certain sizes can really, really be. The solid blue top is also from ASOS and it's a 4XL, so there you go. The pants are the same black jeans as yesterday and the shoes are brown boots that I found in the back of my closet that I haven't worn in three years. I literally cleaned them before I wore them because they were so dusty. Like, yes, I absolutely feel handsome as fuck. I also feel super fucking stupid. <laughs> Just recording. After I met up with my boyfriend and his friend, we went to Old Navy because he needed new clothes. And honestly, it was a good luck charm for me because Old Navy has, uh, you know, the pants that I always wear. It was also a good chance for me to see what else I should add to my wardrobe because they have a little bit of everything. And honestly, I just like their style. I'm switching to a different version of underwear. Thanks for posting that all over the internet. I want to get more to prints, and I saw some that I liked, but unfortunately, Old Navy suffers from the same thing that every department store suffers from. They have 2XL, but not 3XL. Not the price. I like this shirt, but I have to order it online because the biggest size they have is XXL in store. And I'm a 3XL, I believe, in Old Navy sizes. They don't carry extended sizes in store, just online. It's one size away. Just carry one, one triple XL size. But they have triple XL, right? Yeah, they have. So why is it not in the store? Online. I saw the home of all of my jeans. Uh, <laughs> However, I did get some ideas from the in-person store of what to order online. I feel like I've gotten fond of like simple clothing that I can pair up and make an outfit with. I'm glad we came here. I like Old Navy a lot. <laughs> they, have, they have things that are my size. After enough complaining, I got a chocolate bar and we went to a Thai restaurant, which was delicious. I couldn't take any video of it because my phone died, but that's fine. My boyfriend took this picture though, and I really, really like how it came out. I look so happy. These shoes serve me well. They're still comfortable. Why haven't I worn these more? They're good shoes. <laughs> What a good day. A thing I didn't show in any of the videos that I took is the bag that I had all day with me today. I got this bag years ago, like for my birthday, I think. And I haven't used it in a while because I hadn't really had a reason to use it. It's just been in, in like the back of my trunk in my car for a long, long time. But I actually used it today. I put my umbrella in there. I put like my charger in there. My gimbal was in there too, which is cool. Hand sanitizer is always a good thing to have around. My wallet was in here. I actually think I'm gonna start taking this bag with me everywhere again, just because it's 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 useful to have a bag with you. Um, and it also matched my whole outfit. My Avicu, my EpiPen. <laughs> Thank God I didn't need it, but nice to know it's always somewhere I can reach it. Here's my charger. All right, let me charge my phone. I forgot to record my thoughts, so uh, this will do for now. Enjoy me shirtless, I guess. Like I said earlier, this outfit today was comfortable, but it also wasn't lazy. Also, the shoes I know were not in the picture that I took outside the Thai food place. But let me tell you, those shoes felt incredibly comfortable, especially for shoes that I haven't worn in, I think, like, three years i honestly don't remember when i got them and where i got them that's that that's how long ago it was and i'm so happy that i digged in the back of my closet and i found them i cleaned them okay something else i've noticed things that i'm missing from my wardrobe the color purple i realize i have nothing purple i also know that there really aren't a lot of combinations that i can make with purple explicitly but i can probably make something work a thing i like a lot which i'm sure by now you've noticed is wearing either black pants or black joggers and having the rest of the outfit be more colorful i think that kind of makes it pop a little bit more something i noticed and in Old Navy that I can probably apply more to my outfit. There's a little more patterns as well. I am hoping, oh my god, please, I am hoping that tomorrow is sunny and it's a little bit warmer. My cousin will be here. If it's sunny enough, I can wear shorts and I can do like a summer outfit or like a warm weather outfit to be accurate enough. I was very, very happy with my outfit today. It's Saturday and it's still fucking cloudy. But that's fine. Let's see what I can do. Let's see what I can do with the clothing. Let's get right into it. So since my cousin's coming today, it's going to be a little different. I'm going to just put on like nice clothing. And then I'm going to have him come into my room and have him tell me what I'm missing from my wardrobe and like what I can change or what I already have that I can use. He's very good with fashion, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to do that. But for now, this is what I'm going to wear. 
So the goal is comfy, simple, and still kind of okay looking. This is a striped t-shirt from Kohl's that I got years ago. The overshirt is from Kufandi on Amazon, and I'm just wearing regular blue jeans that I've tailored. The shoes are the same white shoes from before. They just fit well with this outfit, so I just thought, hey, why not put them together again? I'll be honest with you, I'm not sure if I got this shirt at Kohl's. I think I did, because it's very, very old. I think I've had it for like almost seven years or so. I can't believe it still fits me. I could even stain right here. Yeah, like that's a stain. <laughs> it's still a good look though, and I put on my mask, which matches my shirt and goes with the outfit. I love this mask because if I just fold it up a little bit, it still seals off my face, but it leaves my beard intact. So the shape of it is still there. Now time to see Kevin. I miss him. It's been a while since I've seen him. You won't be overwhelmed. Say hi. Hello. This is Kevin. Hi. Hi. You won't be overwhelmed. We're buying records. So you want to start collecting? This is my first time in a full record um, <laughs> store. Ready? Go. So, so far, I got Charlie's XCX's new album. Well, new, quote unquote. And then I got Tiger's Draw, the self titled, which is um, the first Tiger's Draw album I heard. And of course, the classic pizza cover. Great fucking cover. Ooh, her. I got some mm. Queen and some Evanescence Fallen. Good Evanescence. Please don't drop the phone. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. This is my seventh and eighth vinyl. Oh shit, okay. Yeah. What other ones do you have so far? I have The Fame Monster. Okay, good. Born This Way. Yes. Rain On Me. You have Rain On Like the, the single? single like, yeah. Oh my god. Chromatica. Nice. Thank You Next. And Billie Eilish, her first album. Oh, love it. After getting home, we had a little photo shoot. This is me and him in our living room, then just him alone, I took this one, and then me alone, he took that one. We used my hue lights to kind of get those shadow colors, which came out really, really nice. Second day of the weekend, Sunday. It looks like today is a sunny day. It means I can actually do more of a, of a warm weather, you know, outfit, which I'm excited for. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something. Sunday was weird. I didn't feel all too well mentally and emotionally. There were just a lot of emotions going around, so I didn't really record much, and I was in pajamas through most of the day till later on. Full disclosure, hours have passed since this morning. I had a bad day today. And since it was a bad day, of course, the weather went from sunny to cloudy. So it's cloudy now. Regardless, I wanted to try out lighter colors. This pink shirt is from Old Navy. It's striped. The undershirt is just a regular white shirt. And then I'm wearing brown joggers and my white sneakers yet again. I really like these shoes. A tip that my cousin gave me is to not match your shoes with your top. And I mean, I am wearing a white shirt under this and the shoes are white. So I'm assuming that the pink shirt kind of like makes it a little different. Also, you can tell the pink shirt is a little bit tight. I kind of like it tight sometimes, but, but, but if I just wear it open, it also kind of works, see? So, very versatile outfit in a way. Not really, it's simple, but I've, I haven't worn anything striped in a long time. So I wanna try like a new pattern. Originally, I was gonna wear this shirt, which is really cool, but it's two sizes too big. And I have to tailor it first before I actually wear it. So I'll do that later. I am also realizing I need new chinos of this color. And maybe if they have like jeans this color, that'd be cool. I don't wanna just stick to joggers. Um, even though these are comfortable, these look kind of messy, especially cause they're like bunching up. I don't know. I gotta get new shit. The thing I did do today at the recommendation of someone on TikTok is I blow dried my my beard with the coldest setting and from far away. Um, but before that, I pat dried it. Not like, you know, I just pat dried it as much as I could. Then I uh, blow dried it with the coldest setting so it looks fluffier, looks a little more full. Um, I should start doing that more often. I didn't know that was an option, actually. Me, my boyfriend, and our friend went to Applebee's and then we went back to the hotel room to just have a little photo shoot. My boyfriend's a photographer and his his friend had a ring light so we thought why not just take iPhone pictures again and I thought take advantage of this by making this my picture for the day I'm waiting for my turn yes. Yes. oh my god It was honestly a fantastic end to a day that started out pretty badly. After we took some pictures and we just kind of hung out in the hotel room, that's all we really did. We just enjoyed our time together. And I got a lot of compliments on my outfit actually, which was really nice to hear. I kept the shirt closed through most of the day because I like a little tight fit. And honestly, this picture is <laughs> like, I feel pretty fucking sexy here. The hat's a souvenir from the Dogfish Head Brewery that I went to a few years ago in Delaware. And I just thought it made the look come together. Today is the last day, and I'm kind of excited. I want to make it special. I don't know how, but I want to make it special. I don't think I'm going anywhere either, so I 
don't know what I'm gonna do. I wanted to wait till sundown, but now my phone's dying, so I'm gonna keep this short. So although usually I don't like loose fitting shirts, this ASOS shirt was just the right kind of shirt for a windy day. And this day was definitely kind of windy. I'm also wearing my regular tailored black jeans from Old Navy that I love so much. And the shoes I didn't actually stick with here, I went with uh, dress shoes, brown colored. You'll see them later on, especially in the picture. I wanted some drizzle for the photo, but that drizzle became a storm. My original goal is a shirt was like floral was to take it outside with the rest of nature you know that's my goal still if it gets dark and i can't take a picture i will wait till tomorrow i don't mind that at all i had to wait like two days because it was like storm after storm after storm it, it did not stop raining but then after that it stopped and the skies cleared up so that was kind of cool all right so it took a few days but here we are on the way to take the picture and hang out in the last outfit of the week it was raining so much that I literally did not leave my house. I just wore like a hoodie and I changed my joggers. I changed the kind of hoodie I wore. So it's not like I was wearing the same shit every single day. I was definitely like changing it up, but not enough to qualify for like a whole, you know, like this whole project I'm doing. So today it's actually clear out and the sun's almost going down. So we can take that picture that I wanted with the sun going down. And I get to yet again, go out with my boyfriend and his friend and just have a good time outside and enjoy the weather. And I'm gonna try and get footage of it now. <laughs> I did not get footage of it. I don't quite know what you were expecting, but regardless, my boyfriend took this fantastic picture of me with his phone. The sun hit all the right places. It looked so good. I was so happy with it. Oh my goodness. That's a thing that I took from my cousin talking to me. I want to wear more patterns and floral just seemed like the right pattern for that right day. It also was windy that day, but it was also sunny. So I got to enjoy it being a loose fit, especially afterward when we went to get sushi, which again, I got no footage of, but that's fine. Not a problem. This is obviously the following day that I'm like editing this shit right so i'd like to say that out of all those outfits that last one was the one that i got the most in person and online compliments from because it was such a bold pattern and i don't think i've ever really worn a bold floral pattern in public at all i know it's not uncommon for guys to wear floral especially if you're gay like i am the problem is that i genuinely didn't think that patterns or like bold patterns or like floral patterns would look good on me i just thought that i had to stick to my dark colors. And quite frankly, looking at myself in the mirror of the sushi restaurant that we were at, I couldn't like, I had to catch myself because I was like, wow, I do look actually really good. Don't get me wrong. I'm still not used to like looser fitting shirts. I like a shirt with a tighter fit, but I'm seeing the benefit of wearing looser shirts. And I feel like I should probably incorporate that a little bit more as long as they look good and they suit my body and my style. And that's the other thing about style. I feel like I'm starting to add more things to my wardrobe that I didn't think I could add before. That floral shirt I got, I completely bought on a whim because I was like, I guess I'll have this. Maybe someday I'll wear it. I bought it in the beginning of March, 2020. It is April, 2021. That's how long I've had it in my closet, just like untouched because I just didn't want to wear it because I was like, it's not going to look good. Why'd I buy it? Because subconsciously I knew it, I knew it was going to look good, but I just like, mm, maybe. I would still like to tailor that shirt though, just a little bit. It's still like a little bit too loose, but just like a little bit of tailoring and it would be perfect. I'm going to go home today. I'm going to shower, sit down and record in my webcam all my thoughts and the end result of this entire week of finding clothes to wear and feeling like a person. As far as you know, I fell asleep yesterday and today's the next day. My hair just grows unusually fast. I learned a lot. I learned a lot from this week. I learned a lot from actually trying to get dressed and looking good for like after a long time of not being able to do so really. I think the main thing I learned is that I do have a style and that I do have options with the clothes that I have in my closet and I feel like I can try them out more, but I also know that I could probably branch out a little more too. Like I, I didn't know how uncomfortable I would feel wearing the flower shirt that I wore at the end of the week. Like I, I didn't realize I would feel that way, but now I can definitely see myself wearing more stuff than maybe I didn't think I could before. I will absolutely take Kevin's uh, advice into consideration. I'm gonna buy things that I don't have and I'm gonna look out of my comfort zone for new things. I'm wearing a red solid shirt right now because it was the easiest thing to wear. And I did go to work and I came back, but like I said, it's the next day, so it's fine. Something else this week has taught me is that I really, uh, 
the way that I looked affected how I felt so much. On the days where I didn't feel like I was trying hard enough, I didn't feel as good as the other days. On the days where I felt like I was going really hard, I'm like, oh my god, I love this, I feel really good about myself. Because I would look in the mirror and I'd be like, I like who I see. I like that it looks like I've tried. And it really did affect the way that I was talking, the way that I was walking, the, the way that I was acting. Like, it was really important. And I think I gotta keep that in mind moving forward. It's important for me to feel like I look good, because I do look good. I just want to put in the effort to make sure that I look good to myself every day. I think this whole series is going to be just like Abe improving himself because <laughs> I feel like I, I, I could do a lot with that. I also have to admit the mesh shirt is definitely one of my favorite things I own and I need more stuff that's like that material like mesh. I would like to wear mesh over things that I own to add one more layer of clothing that isn't actually clothing but that it is actually clothing you know what I mean even though it rained a lot of the time that I was doing this whole thing I still found ways to make it work I think spring for me is the hardest season to dress in so I'm glad that I found ways to make it work I think for the summertime I'm gonna try and see what summer outfits I can do as much as I love just wearing tank tops which I always do um, I don't want to always wear tank tops. <laughs> anyway, to wrap it up, here are the seven pictures that I took this week. Here's number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, and number seven. And I think my favorite ones have to be these three. The first one because I'm very happy in, and the second one because I just like how I look. I look really attractive. And the last one just because I feel like it's a good picture. I took a risk with that shirt and it paid off really well. Okay, realistically, it's not a risk because like... It's just like a regular floral shirt. It's, it was a risk for me, and I no longer consider it a risk anymore. So hey, we're growing and we're learning. Anyway, thank you for watching. It went so long, but I like making long form content. If you like what you see, subscribe and hit the little bell button. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that's all. Thank you all. Bye.